Hey, what's good everyone? Sinu here back on a video and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a really cool colorful logo on Android. So to do that, you need to go ahead and download this folder right over here from the link will be in the description below. So this is basically a colorful logo pack that I made recently and you guys need to download it, it's for free. So once you download it, open it up and you will see backgrounds, fonts and logos. First thing that you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and press on this fonts folder choose the font that you want so those are a pretty cool fonts for this logo so basically go ahead and press on one of these and then hit on fonto so if you guys don't have fonto app you need to download it from the description below so this is basically the link if you guys don't have fonto again you need to download it from the description below it's free app on google play store but anyways, once you get this message right over here, press on font, so just select the app and it's going to take you to the app itself. Now you'll find all of these options right over here. Now all you have to do is to press on one of these install buttons. Now you will find two install buttons, just basically choose one of them. It really doesn't matter. Now you need to go ahead and go to font to app. So once you are done with this, you need to press on those three buttons on the top right corner which is right over here is going to pop setting just go ahead and press on it and go to the output output format you must found it gpeg by default but you need to switch it from gpeg to png so make sure it says png just like that so once you done that go ahead and just load a new image from your device and this image needs to be a transparent background now i know a lot of you guys don't have a transparent background on your device all you have to do is to go ahead to the link in the description below download the pack and you will find a transparent background on the pack anyways once you are done with this go ahead and press on this pen button and then go ahead to fonts so choose the font that you like one of the fonts that you installed basically and as you can see i'm going to put uh, like a random letter but you need to put the first letter of your channel for example my channel is c new so it is c but i'm going to put l just because this is a random tutorial video anyone knows you done that go ahead and save the photo and you are done then go ahead and open up this app which is Photoshop Touch. If you guys don't have this app, I will leave a link in the description below. You can download this app for free. Anyways, go ahead and create on it a brand new project. The resolution is 1000 per 1000 which is a square. So once you guys are done with this, all you have to do is you go ahead and just add a new photo from your library just like that. Now the photo could be anything, you can go ahead and just add a random background that you find cool just like this background right over here and i did put some really cool backgrounds on the pack so you can find them right over there and then go ahead and just add a new file and this time go ahead to this uh, folder which called logo so the, i did put a really cool logos as you can see right over here so this is the background of our logo so you can just go ahead and choose whatever one you want for example this one i really like it basically go ahead and start the center it make sure that it is in the center of our project and you can also add a drop shadow into our uh, like uh, logo as you can see and it looks really cool now for the last step go ahead and just add the uh, the letter that we did create with Ponto. as you can see the logo background didn't really match our letter so all you have to do is you can go ahead and as you can see you can easily choose another logo background for example this one right over here and you can just put down below my logo so i can just go ahead and move this letter up just like this and as you can see i'll be having something like that now you can add a drop shadow into the logo and also you can go ahead and add the different signs and other uh, like filters if you want and also you can just go ahead and mess around with the contrast and the brightness of the logo to make it look more colorful and that's about it and if you guys would like to add any other final touch go ahead and do it it really depends on you and it depends on your creativity so use your creativity to make your own logo so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and just drop a like down below i will appreciate that and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there Subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.